I dig, I dig, I dig in the dirt. Shovel, 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 I got my spade, I got my hole, I got my rig and I'm ready to go. Hello and welcome to The Garden Gurus. I'm Trevor Cochran. We have got a sensational program packed full of great gardening advice for you today. How spectacular is this? We're in Perth, Western Australia. This is Kings Park, one of the most beautiful botanical gardens. And this year has been particularly wet. The wildflowers are spectacular. Some of the best you'll ever see anywhere in the world. Now in today's program, well, it's packed full of great local advice. We've got competitions, some real innovation. So let's not talk about it. Let's get on with the show. Digging around. If you're looking at buying a flowering plant, well, you can't go past a rose. What other plant flowers for nine months of the year? Produces some of the most exquisite flowers and some of the heaviest perfumes you'll ever smell. They're tough, they're hardy, they're drought resistant, and I'm biased because I'm a rose grower and loving it. And you will be as well when I teach you a trick or two. Drop into your local garden centre and you'll find a great selection of potted roses in leaf and bud. I suggest you consider some of the newly released roses as they're bred for better flowering and better disease resistance. Always select your rose for height first. It's no point buying a two metre grower when you're looking for a one metre grower. All that's going to happen is, as the plant grows, you'll be cutting the flowers off. My advice? Check the label. Now to planting, and this is important. Spend time getting this right and the plant will perform beautifully. First, dig the hole twice as big as the pot. This allows the plant's roots to easily work their way through the backfilled soil. Next, add a couple of handfuls of well-aged organic matter to the hole, like cow manure, mushroom compost or similar. Stir that into the soil. Place the rose in and make sure the bud union is a few centimetres above the ground level and that fill. And now for the fertiliser. Well, you may have noticed I didn't put any fertiliser in the hole. Well, that's because I think it's actually better on top. And this is very special. It's a fertiliser which has the right balance of nutrients, but also has beneficial soil microbes and fungi that help inoculate the ground and increase its fertility. It's a very smart and sustainable Aussie innovation. Trophorte in roses, azaleas and camellia mix is specifically formulated for flowering plants. Spread around and lightly till into the ground. The prills are coated with around 24 dormant beneficial microbes and fungi that come to life once water is added. The prills 60 natural minerals feed the microbes and its nutrient rich core is released over five to six months. Now once your rose is planted, fed and watered, don't forget to mulch. And when it comes to waterings, one or two deep soaks a week for the first month, then once a week after that is all it will need. Then just stand back and smell the roses. Honestly, rose growing couldn't be easier. If you're looking at bringing colour into your garden this summer, then look no further. The Tropicana Black and Gold, well, they're sure to steal the spotlight. Black has a stunning combination of purple shades blended with black foliage, whilst the gold is wonderful with its bold striping of green and gold throughout each leaf. Now's the time to plant the Tropicana Black and Gold in your garden. Now both plants are going to reach a height of approximately four to six feet, and they can be cut back at any time to force new growth. Both the black and the gold put on a flower show that's guaranteed to bring vibrant colour to any garden. Try planting alongside each other for a dazzling effect. South Australia's Barossa Valley is world renowned for its quality wines, especially its full bodied reds. But that's not the only thing that grows superbly around here. After the break, we're going to meet a grower who will give us the good oil on olives. Have you thought about making the switch to getting energy free from the sun? Well, Compliments of Garden Gurus and Solar Heart, you could win one of three prize packs valued at up to $5,000. The prize includes your choice of a Solar Heart solar water heater or a Solar Heart power PV system, and the prize includes installation. All you have to do is head to our website and answer the question What is Solar Heart's slogan? It's that easy. And before you know it, you could be enjoying energy free from the sun. When it comes to controlling pests around the home, you need to feel confident that your pesticide is going to be effective, can be used safely and easily. Now you think that that would be simple, but the truth of the matter is most pesticides are not truly effective. 
Thankfully, an innovation from Scott's is making it easier to use with a complete solution. I've discovered a surface spray that'll treat insects for up to nine months. Now, it can be used indoors and outdoors. It's not a contact spray, but if an insect comes in contact with any of the treated areas, it'll die within 24 hours. That means that this insecticide is working for you all the time, not just when you spray the bug. Home Defence controls annoying pests, including cockroaches, silverfish, ants, spiders, fleas, ticks, flies, mosquitoes and paper wasps, controlling them around door frames, window frames and other gaps leading into the house, garden shed, garage or under the eaves. It's ready to use so there's no mixing, messing around and cleaning up spills. And the five litre pack will cover 100 square metres of area, more than enough for the average home. The active ingredient is actually the same used by professional pest controllers, so you can be confident that it's tough, but safe to use around kids and pets. Before applying, make sure that the surfaces are dry first. Instead of spending hundreds of dollars, this will cost just under $40 for the five litre pack. It dries fast, is low in odour, non-staining on common household surfaces, and the new one-touch wand makes it so easy to apply. The new 5-litre home defence pack with battery-operated wand is a great innovation. It provides a powerful spray and the nozzle is adjustable so you have the choice of three spray settings. It's important to remember that this is a surface spray that's going to last for nine months. So read the instructions on the back of the label. Just a little tip, make sure you've got a two to three metre band around the outside of your house and you'll be guaranteed to have no bugs interfering with your summer entertaining. That's nine months of bug-free good fun. How good's that? Outside the small South Australian country town of Kapunda, you'll find the remarkable 66 acres of Tathra Homestead, run by the Darmody family. Remarkable not only for its stunning location, but for the unique olive oil it produces. Kim, how's Australian olive oil different to imported olive oil? Uh, most of Australian olive oil is extra virgin olive oil. Um, a lot of that comes from uh, early picking uh, and quick processing. So within a day or two of, of, of picking the fruit, it's processed so that you uh, minimise the deterioration uh, from picking to processing. So olive oil has a shelf life? It certainly does, within a maximum of two years. Um, if you leave it much longer than that, the oil starts to deteriorate to the point where uh, the flavours and the uh, taste profile changes. Uh, once it's opened, um, try and use it within a few weeks. Now, you've got a whole range of Tathra Homestead olive oils here. Mm -hmm. uh, can you explain the different varieties you've got? <laughs> yeah, well, some of them. Um, for example, this 2012 Early Pick Mission uh, comes from the grove up the back. So it's a very robust oil, peppery, um, right through to the Shelter Belt blend, which we have here which is a mid-season oil, so that's a milder oil, uh, mellow taste, a bit sweeter, whereas the early pick stuff is more robust, uh, more peppery, extra bitterness. The only way to really test these out is to taste them, surely. <laughs> yes. So let's have a go. No worries. Oh yeah, very peppery, very nice. If you want a taste of this fabulous Aussie-grown Tathra Homestead olive oil, simply head to your online farmer's market, Farmhouse Direct, and you'll receive your order direct from Kim. Now, whilst you're there, check out over 220 other quality growers producing bush foods, garlic and loads, loads more. What a great idea for a Christmas hamper. The sea of everlastings you find growing all around the southwest of WA, well, they are spectacular this time of the year, but it's not the time to be planting them out in your garden. It is the time to be collecting flowers. And if you've grown some at home, pop them into a paper bag. I've got to tell you, they'll be fantastic seeds to use when you get around to winter this time next year. Coming up after the break, more great advice right here on The Garden Gurus. How good would it be to have a consistently healthy pool? Imagine having an energy efficient pump, a robotic cleaner, a brand new sand filter and a professional to install it all. And while we're dreaming, imagine having a year's worth of maintenance from Poolworks. Joe. 
Well, it doesn't have to be a dream at all. All this could be yours by simply going to the Garden Guru's website and telling us in 25 words or less what makes you a healthy pool person. Then this healthy pool prize pack worth 6,000 bucks could be yours thanks to our friends at Poolworks. I love the idea of being able to step into my garden in any season and grow and propagate things. But depending on where you live, that's not always possible. Unless you take growing to a whole new level and get your hands on one of these, a greenhouse. Choosing the right greenhouse takes a little bit of thinking. And the first question I would ask is whether you see yourself as a beginner, a hobbyist or a professional grower. The answer will help you determine the cost, size and the complexity of the system you're looking at. My advice would be to go for a greenhouse that's bigger than what you think you might need because once these babies are full of plants, you are going to want more growing space. Now some people might think that greenhouses are only for people with lots of space, but the specialists at Sproutwell have sizes to suit all backyards and budgets. If you're a beginner or a hobbyist, you might like to start with a mini greenhouse, which has lots of seed trays for propagation and shelving for larger pots or trays of herbs. It's freestanding and doesn't take up much space, so you can put it on a deck or against a shed wall, fence or hedge. If you're more of a professional grower or you can see yourself spending a lot of time in the greenhouse, then you might like to think bigger. The 1.9 metre width Garden Pro is the perfect choice for hobby gardeners. Big enough to grow lots of things year round, but small enough to fit neatly into the corner of the yard. From here, things just keep getting bigger from the 2.5 metre Garden Pro to the 3 metre wide Prestige and the big daddy of the range, the Grange series, with greenhouses up to 3 and 4 metres wide. Sproutwell greenhouses give you the choice of two profiles, the standard domestic or the commercial ones, and it's these commercial ones that allow you to extend your greenhouse up to 20 metres and beyond. And they even come in green or black. And here's something you might not have thought of. If you've got a spare wall down the side of your garage or shed, you could easily install a lean-to greenhouse. All ranges are designed with this easy-to-install slide and lock assembly system, which means there's no messy installation with silicon needed. And once they're locked in place, they can easily withstand high winds. Now, the choice of greenhouses can be a bit overwhelming. So if you live locally, I suggest coming down here and checking it out. Anyone who has ever trolled the internet for catalogues of greenhouses knows that quality varies enormously. So what better way to make a decision than to talk to the experts and experience the product in action? Well, how good is this? The festive season is almost upon us. School holidays are beginning. It's the swimming time of year, but it's also pool party time. So what am I going to need for my pool party? Well, beach balls, check. I'm also going to need noodles, lilos, water pistols. But first things first, I've got to get the water checked. Take a sample of your pool water to your local pool work store where all the critical elements of pool water balance can now be tested in 60 seconds. Thanks, Joe. That's great. Once the guys have done their analysis, they'll tell you exactly what you need to get your pool looking healthy before the guests arrive. If that sounds like a little bit too much work, it can all be arranged with a pre- or post-party clean-up by Poolwork professionals at your poolside. It's as simple as picking up the phone or booking online. Pool safety is another important factor because at parties, people can tend to get a little bit relaxed. Make sure the gate is working properly and closing by itself. Check all the panels of the fence are tight and fixed securely and that the CPR chart is up to date and visible. So there you have it, a clean and safe pool for the festive season. But one final tip, and this one's important, it's about responsibility. Get a piece of clothing, it could be a t-shirt, could be a wristband, I like to use a life-saving hat. Whoever's wearing this at the party is in charge of the kids. So have fun and stay safe. We've had so much interest in this brilliant living wall system created by Holman Industries. Now it's called Green Wall and we launched it here first on the Garden Gurus at the beginning of this season. Since then, we have been inundated with lots and lots of questions. Planting combinations are one and with spring on your doorstep, growing edibles on an unused wall or ugly fence allows you to beautify it and increase your productive growing areas at the same time. The system is a simple to construct kit which utilises a metal wall bracket and a plastic panel with built-in irrigation systems to sustain the plants on the days that you just can't water them. 
Now the pots come as individuals, which can be added or removed as suits, which is ideal when you need to replace a poor performing or finished annual herb or veggie. The system has individual pressure regulator drippers for each pot, and once it's set up, you can pick an attachment point and clip on a hose. This, or classic irrigation polytube, can be run from an automatic controller, which then runs every couple of days. I've grown herbs and veggies successfully using this system, but I think it'd be fantastic for a whole bunch of other plants. Could you imagine petunias cascading down out of this? They'd look sensational. Or, if you've got a shady area, imagine Boston ferns all planted up and cascading down. It would look absolutely brilliant. Now, this system is quite unique. You're only going to find it in your local Bunnings store. They've got it exclusively at the moment. And the best news about it is it's under 100 bucks. We all rely on our tools to get jobs done around the yard and it's important they work when you want them to, so a little maintenance goes a long way. A squirt of oil on your snips or a rub of sandpaper on that rake handle to get rid of the splinters, plus putting them away after use will add years of life to your tools. More great garden ideas and tips after the break. If you'd like to get your hands on some of the great plants in the Touch of Class collection, check out the Touch of Class Facebook page. Enter their competition and you could be taking home a spring pack of 10 plants chosen for you by the experts. I love my West Australian wildflowers. They are just stunning and you won't find flowers like this anywhere else in the world. Now, Kings Park and Botanic Gardens is the place to see them right here in Perth, WA. These amazing flowers have basically evolved over tens of thousands of years to grow in really difficult conditions. Deep sandy soils, they get a huge amount of wind and of course extremely hot summers. But the good news is you can grow them in different parts of Australia, just not necessarily in a garden bed. These guys look fantastic planted en masse, but even better in pots. And the best type of pot to use is a self-watering pot. They hold moisture deep in the base of the pot, ensuring that they don't stress through extreme drying out. Mixing and matching is a great way to go, or sometimes you just pick a beautiful central feature like this one. This is the West Australian black kangaroo paw. It is quite rare to find in the wild, and it is absolutely stunning. Look at these flowers. They are so gorgeous. But, and by the way, black is the in colour just at the moment when it comes to flowers, particularly in Europe, so you know that trend's coming here. But instead of a single plant in this pot here, I'm going to go for a bit of a mixture. This one is a very special member of the bush gem family. This one is a Kings Park hybrid. So you can have a look at it there. It's called Federation Flame. It's got a lovely little flower. It's quite a fine one. Now, if we are to plant these up, we'd use some native potting mix in the bottom of the pot and then quite literally just take them, ease them out of the pot. You've got to be gentle with these native plants. You don't bash them around too much and you work on the thrill, fill and spill principle. So the kangaroo paw is going to thrill. Now this is a trigger plant, it's going to fill. I've not seen these before. This is another one from the southwest of WA. Wonderful white flowers just smothered over what is a lovely compact bush. This one would just go straight into here. And then the old spill principle, well, why not go for a fan flower? These are just gorgeous and it's going to spill over the side. So you've got the three in the combination, it'll look sensational. I've chosen the beautifully designed Roman series pots from the Decor Corporation, the Aussie company that revolutionised self-watering technology for Australian gardeners. It's a brilliant way to grow plants and ensures that one, you don't waste water through it spilling from pots onto pavers, and two, plants always have moisture available to their root systems. Now the colours I've chosen are two of the new ones. You can see this one, beautiful clay and espresso. Well, this is absolutely sensational. The two modern colours they work in most garden decors. It's got the wear and tear, it can handle it. And of course, because it's plastic, it's lightweight. And don't they look fantastic with these beautiful West Aussie natives? This is what great pot gardening is all about. Now, if you're short on space, but you'd still love to be able to step out into the courtyard or patio and harvest your own garden-grown fruit, then you're going to love this plant. It's called Lemonitious, and it's one of those pint-sized trees that produces a crop of full-sized fruit. It only grows to around 1.5 metres tall and a metre wide, so it's perfect for decorative pots or a sunny little spot in the garden. 
I find that dwarf fruit trees tend to sort of overcompensate for being small by producing a really big crop. So you'll get loads of lemons out of this plant. Plus, it's smothered in scented white flowers, which is another great bonus. You get lush evergreen foliage. So no matter what time of year it is, this plant always looks good, which is an important consideration in a small space. If you're growing it in a pot, choose a big decorative tub Fill it with good quality potting mix and position it in full sun or with just a little bit of shade. Then liquid feed regularly to keep that crop coming. And in no time you'll be harvesting lots of garden grown fruit, perfect for lemon pie and zesty cocktails. Our series sponsor, Scenic Tours, has some amazing destinations in its catalogue. But one that you will love is the Amsterdam to Budapest journey. Not only do you cruise in absolute luxury on one of the scenic spaceships, Taking in Europe's beautiful countryside, you get to visit some incredible cities and most importantly for me, gardens along the way. The history here is fascinating and the Palais or Garden Palace in Liechtenstein is one of those places you just have to visit at least once in your lifetime. The gardens feature Baroque style principles so they're formal yet open in their layout. Scenic also provide a very special experience in their tours, known as Scenic Enrich. And here you can enjoy a glass of Austrian Sekt, a unique Austrian style champagne in the Palais Liechtenstein, while enjoying an enchanting private Viennese evening concert featuring the music of Strauss and Mozart. This is an experience you will only get when you travel with Scenic Tours. Remember, a Scenic Tour is all inclusive. Your transfers, all your meals, drinks, and even the minibar are complimentary. And the luxury cruise ships, known as spaceships, are incredibly comfortable, and the food from the three restaurants on board is simply delicious. The early bird offer has been extended until the 31st of October 2013. Don't miss out on your chance to fly free to Europe. It's hard not to fall in love with the beautiful wildflowers of Western Australia. The blue of the Leschenoltia and then the Pilianthus, this wonderful orange. They are just sensational plants and this is the time to see them growing in the wild right here in around Perth. Well, that's it for this week's show. I hope you enjoyed it and that's it for the series. We'll be back again in the autumn. Look forward to seeing you then. I'm Trevor Cochran. We'll see you then for the Garden Gurus.